we would like to start this podcast off with our uh, illustrious sponsor, um, Crunchy Toilet Paper. Yeah. See, a lot of people use a soft tissue ply, which is cool, but it kind of sticks and it gets in your butt, and you find to find some later sometimes, right? Mm-hmm. You little find the flakes. But with the Crunchy Toilet Paper, Oh, there's no flaking, ripping off whatsoever. Actually, Absolutely. actually takes off some hair removal as well. Mm-hmm. It's it it, exfoli- it, it exfoliates your crevices mm-hmm. of your crack. Yeah. And uh, here's the thing. It also removes those dingleberries, mm-hmm. those unwanted hairs, as you you were talking about. Mm-hmm. And if you act now, you will receive. 25% off and cream for any unwanted um Were you about to say her about to say what is what is the H word? Hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys ever try to wipe your butt with like tissue. When you have a hemorrhoid, mm-hmm. it is a very dangerous situation. Dangerous. But with the crunchy, it just plats on mm-hmm. and then it pulls off gently. And here's the thing, y'all. Everybody has the white toilet paper, not crunchy toilet paper. We have the brown one that matches. Already brown. Organic. Mm-hmm. Right for, and, and, and it's one size fit all for every crack. Mm-hmm. Again, if you act now, you get 25% off. 25% and off. And for those people, those men who have those streaks, mm-hmm. your woman will never know. Because it blends right with the color of your backside. And the best thing about it is that when you you ever try to dap the water? Yes. Mm-hmm. You ever try to dap the toilet paper? Absolutely. Got to. To make your own homemade Just wet wipe? Just to wet the beat. Just to wet it up. Yeah. It doesn't fall apart. It doesn't get mm-hmm. all flimsy. It stays solid, intact. Uh-huh. And it's still even more flushable than flushable wipes. Absolutely. Here's the thing. If you want to upgrade to the, the premium crunchy toilet paper, we will also throw in the reusable ones. So you never have to buy another roll again. Nope. You just take it, flush it out, mm-hmm. do your little rinse, let it dry, back in your butt. And now that's the word from our sponsors. All right. And we're back. Whew. All right. I hope uh, I, I hope they uh, ask us to come back again. Pun intended. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Yeah. I, was like, I was like, what? Crunchy? Uh, crunchy was, toilet like, paper. It's <laughs> like, what? what is crunchy? Um, yeah. What's better than that? Yeah. That would be so uncomfortable. What if uh, you did an ad and you just bashed the ad as soon as you did it? Yeah, man. Like, and that's all we need. And he went, shit, it's stupid. Man. Stupid. Yeah. My, my what is on? The, the oak, mic? Cut off? <laughs> what, 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 what? It's still on. Is the logo of Applebee's an apple or a bee? I think it's an apple. With it's the letter apple? B's, right? Apple B's. I gotta find this picture. Apple Sorry. B's. Cause now I think I think it might be little tiny apples that have wings, right? Oh, they're think apple so. bees. I gotta look this up. I, I don't know why I heard you say apple bees. I was like, and I, I imagine what the logo is. I always get Applebee's, Chili's, and um, Red Lobster mixed up. I know they all different. <laughs> Red lo- How do you mix up what? Applebee's, Red Lobster, and Chili's. Applebee's, Red Lobster, and Chili's. I can understand Applebee's and Chili's. How do you get Red Lobster mixed in there? Is Red Lobster top tier? Is, is, I don't think, think it's top tier, but it's separate it, as... No. Really? Red Lobster used to be like the fancy thing. It's like, you oh, think Red Lobster? So is no. Red Lobster and Olive Garden on the same used level? Used to be, used to be, one of the fancy thing. It was a, it was a big deal if you went to Red Lobster before. It's like, oh, we're going to Red Lobster. No, ho. so hold on, let's put this in the category. Let's do Fridays, mm-hmm. Red Lobster, Olive Garden, Chili's. Like wh- are, by class? Yeah, what is in the same class? All right. So that was <laughs> cracking knuckles. Nigga. So Red Lobster is classier than them all. So you don't think Red Lobster or Olive Garden on the same level? No. Red Lobster Cheesecake beats. Factory, same level. Cheesecake Factory beats them all. Cheesecake Factory is on top of... Uh... Definitely. Okay. Cheesecake Factory, because they have a better ambiance when you walk okay. in. It's a little dimmer in there. Okay. They have this kind of section. It's a nice buzz happening. They have a much better decor. I think, I think Cheesecake Factory and Olive Garden are on the same level. No, Olive Garden is like... It's, it's bottom tier 
Italian food in general, mm -hmm. right? Okay. The Italians go, ugh. Okay. Right? All right. The Italians don't, ugh, that Cheesecake Factory. Okay. You go, there's something here for everybody. All right. Right? But you go, so, so this is, a, this is the triangle. There's a triangle. Cheesecake Factory up top. Yep. All right. We're talking about franchises. Franchises. All right. Yep. Cheesecake Factory at the top. Boom. What's the second tier right there? So, so then you would have to do something, um, you know, I don't know if you put like, uh, like like Applebee's, like Fridays will go above Applebee's. Fridays is above Applebee's. Fridays is above okay. Applebee's. And like okay. Applebee's and uh, and Chili's. Like this I, is the this is the triangle. Mm -hmm. So we talking about what's up under. Right. So you're not gonna put you're not gonna put Olive Garden no. and Red Lobster up under no. that. No. 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 Red Lobster goes up in there, and then I'm probably gonna put I, I put Olive Garden's a little. It's like underneath that. You put Olive Garden under yeah. with chilies. I never want to go to Olive Garden. You are wild. I never, I never been like. You know what sounds good right now? So, Olive Garden. so you put. I've been there twice. You ever. put Olive Garden on the same level as Chili's and Applebee's. I'd rather go if, we, if we're talking about class. Then Olive Garden is above them. But if we're talking about where I'd rather go, I got Chili's, Fridays. I probably have Applebee's and and and. Olive Garden in the same tier for where I want to go. Crazy work. But if you're talking about ambiance and class, mm -hmm. then I have... First date. Somebody you're trying to impress. Then I would have Olive Garden better. Because they have the come to the cheese thing mm -hmm. for you. So better right. class. That's what I'm saying. But food-wise, and we're, if we're just talking about class, then yeah, it's above those. But it's this not is, a better place This is eat. what I'm doing, yo. Mm -hmm. Watch me work. Okay. Right? Watch okay. me cook. I'm okay. in the kitchen, yo. Okay, let's go. I'm I see you. Homeboy see RD, all right? Let's do it. So I will go Cheesecake Factory. I'll put Cheesecake Factory up top. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Right up under, mm -hmm. I will put Olive Garden. Okay. And Red Lobster. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Then I'll do Fridays, okay. Chili's, mm -hmm. and Applebee's on the third tier. Okay. At the bottom. And then, what's, what's one? That's it. Fridays, Applebee's. Fridays, Applebee's, and Chili's, uh -huh. Red Lobster, mm -hmm. and Olive Garden. And then you Garden. have your Denny's, and then you have the Oh, I yeah, we going lower. <laughs> yeah, we doing um, Waffle House. Yeah, yeah, your yeah, voice changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, Waffle House, yeah. and <laughs> Chili's. <laughs> those are the bottom levels of yeah. those. Um, yeah. We got some people here at Green Cheesecake Factory beats them all. Yeah, Cheesecake uh, Factory's up top. Yeah. Texas Roll House, that's a solid franchise. Yeah, so that goes a little higher, right? That's, that's above Olive Garden to me. I would say Texas Roll House, uh, oh, Yard House is on the same level as Cheesecake okay. Factory, Okay, right? Yard House and Cheesecake Factory, they're, they're both probably up there. Yeah? They're both probably up there. Yard House is super solid. Yeah. They're super solid. Yeah, but it's real sportsy, though. Like, sports attire. Yeah, you, don't, you don't take your first date unless she's into sports. Uh... It's a sports bar. I don't bar. think it's a bad place for a first day. Yard house? It's a sports bar. I'm a, I'm a yard house fan. Papa Do's. Well, Papa Do's is different. Yeah. Papa Do's isn't nationwide like that right. either. I've never been there. Uh, I've been there once in Dallas, wherever mm -hmm. we went. But uh, Papa Do's is great. It's probably the best food out of them all. Oh, now sure. we're cooking Black Angus Outback. Okay. Okay. Carabas. I never heard of that one. Uh, I would still have Cheesecake Factory above all those. Mm -hmm. Um we got Craig Wayne's over here calling me nasty light. What's up, Craig? <laughs> Ask Craig. Craig's a classic bastard. What are the tiers of the foods? It's Cheesecake Factory, Olive Garden. We're talking about class. Cheesecake Factory, Olive Garden, Red Lobster, uh, Applebee's, Chili's. What's the other one? Red Lobster, Chili's, uh, Applebee's, Fridays, Chili's, Fridays, Olive Garden. Olive Garden. What? And then in the roof of uh, class wise. Uh, what's what's the range? What's the ranking? Who's top tier on the class of franchises? I have I have uh, uh, a Cheesecake Factory on top. What did you say right there? Outback is for big backs. <laughs> <laughs> the blooming onion. Man, where is that? I had that one time. I had that one time with some white folks, right? Uh -huh. And and I they had they had shared it with the table. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, was, I gotta talk about this. Dion ate they shared, look, at, look, they shared it with the table. It was about like six of us. Was this it was your like, first time having it? And that first time having it. And it was at uh, Red Robins. Uh -huh. 
Another one you just put on there, Red Robins mm -hmm. and Ruby Tuesdays. Okay, Ruby Tuesdays uh, is above Red Robins. Yeah, Red Robins solid though. Yeah, so it was that Red, uh, mm -hmm. Red Red Robins, mm -hmm. and and it was right in the middle of the table. So I was like, I was like, this is really good. It was like, it is good, but nobody was reaching back to get more. <laughs> you no. would. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> y'all like it? Y'all like it? Y'all like it? Let me just get another yeah. one. Well, just to just see like, if it's consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just kept diving in. I was like, I was like, now people are gonna be like, are you gonna eat all this by yourself? I was like, nobody else is eating this. Why aren't nobody diving in? This is good. And everybody was like, I'm saving my appetite for my meal. Well, that's your fault. Yeah, I was like, I can't. This is gonna get cold. This I I have storage for this. I can easily compart compartmentalize this. Uh, I got Woo. this section for this, this yeah. section for that. Yeah, yeah I was like, I'm it. eating this. What Craig say? Uh, uh, he said the same thing. Uh, what? Well, uh, uh, this somebody was commenting on what Craig said. Oh, the blooming onion. Um, and where's that? At? I need to make either. I need to buy that. I haven't had a blooming onion in like ten years. Uh, Papa Do's is the same as Cheesecake Factory. Nah. You know why it's not the same? First of all, if the food is better, it's a uh, southern. It's a specific southern delicacy. And I had fried gator. Uh, Cheesecake Factory ain't got that. They ain't got that catfish the same. They don't have the same level of uh, food there. You know a restaurant that gets no recognition? Mm. It's a big franchise, but nobody respects it. Nobody thinks about this franchise first. Exactly. Boston Market. The Boston Market is solid. It's wait, wait, solid. wait, wait, wait. They don't think about it further. We should no, have Boston Market. You know what I was thinking? Boston Market's cool. You know what never gets any recognition and shit? The Honey Baked Ham. Oh, I, I never even went. You've there. never had food there. I've, I've tasted it. You I've, tasted the ham, but you never went there and got food. I never went inside. And you got the sides or I a ham thought sandwich. Would, they said they sold just that. They do, but they'll also give you a dope ass ham sandwich. Word. They'll give you, yeah, they got a whole that like they'll they'll break you off some sandwiches. You be like, y'all did all this off some ham? Wow, man, their menu is yeah. let me see, man. It reminds me of uh, Panera, Panera Bread. Mm -hmm. That's a solid chain for like Maria calendars too. If you want to pretend to be healthy, Panera Bread. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That's when you go when you're like, uh, oh, I think I can do a coffee and uh, some soup. <laughs> yeah. They have those. They have those uh, fresh, fresh sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jack, a uh, uh, corner, corner, corner bakery. Corner bakery, solid. Those are solid spots. Yeah, they're all above Denny's. Yeah, honey bank hand menu, baby. What? Is, yeah, I think. I think. Sadly, Denny's, Denny's Waffle House is is one and a half star above fast food restaurants. Yeah, they're they're like it's just a sit down <laughs> fast food restaurant. <laughs> There's no way. Look, I had ordered me a whole like uh, Grand Slam, and then uh, I was like, before before I had a, get a, a time to talk to my people at the table, it's coming back. I was like, nigga, y'all just put this in the microwave. <laughs> Like, why is it so fast? Yeah, somebody else ordered it and they didn't want it, so you can have it now. And they're in the in Waffle House and IHOPs and Denny's menus are top. Come on, tier, baby. Man. Come on, baby. Look at these sandwiches they this got. This is honey baked ham. This is honey baked ham. Look at this. Are, the are they in LA? <laughs> they are in LA. Where's where's one at in LA? Uh hold on. Let me say. All right, so those are some of the sandwiches they have. Why fire do sandwiches. sliders always make me smile? The sliders are fire, dog. Look at look at the sides. They got baked beans, yo. Cheesy. I don't know what ambrosia is, but I want some cranberry salad, turkey gravy. It's Thanksgiving. I see no vegetables. Stuffing. What are you talking about? Uh, I see the no barbecue vegetables. beans. Oh, I see. I see no green. Uh, I see everything one. yellow, yellow and orange. They got salads. Okay. Slices and look broccoli, bacon, bliss. Ooh. Really? Yep. I've never. I know, is it like a sit down restaurant or just like I don't a know if you can. I've never done a sit down there. Just but you pick can, up. You can take. Look, they have little lunch. Oh, I show you that. Right? Little lunch packages. This is there. crazy. Yeah, so man. it's only pick up. I don't I, know. I've never had them. I said, let's have, <laughs> let's have a date at Honey Bake Hill. Ambrosia salad is fruit with whipped cream. Oh, yeah. I never did the uh, sat down in it, but we were somewhere and I did a. We were like, I remember my homie was like, let's go to Honey Bake Hill. I'm like, mm, we're going to get a whole ham. Right. And then I had one of the hand sandwiches. I was like, oh, they got I said, hey, y'all doing it right over right, here. Right. They're underappreciated. So so can I just bake honey? Huh? I'm, and can I just bake some ham with some honey on it? Can, can I have that taste? Or do I need to actually come I'm, I'm trying to think of the idea of honey bake ham. How did that become a thing? Is it like the whole entire ham and I'm putting honey over and then baking? Or can I just like give me a slice of ham, put some honey on it, and like fry it? 
I, I guess you could do that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you want to put ham on a, I mean, honey on a skillet. That don't sound like a good idea. I just, I'm trying to, how, how can I, how can I cheat air fry. I already know. <laughs> damn, air fry. <laughs> Go out to the air fryer. Yeah, the air fryer can be messed Yo, up. Yo, I'm telling you something. Today, I'm emptying out the grease in my air fryer. I you have, said this three weeks ago. I have grease in my air fryer from at least January. <laughs> I, I know I do. I'm sorry for What homie say? Uh, Craig said, this angle is not, is not to Chaz's face. <laughs> I see it. I see it. I see it right here. <laughs> I see it. I noticed that too. That look big. I got you, Chad. I noticed it. I got you, homie. <laughs> hey, man, it's my body. What am I going to do? I'm going to fight it. Hey, Dan, can you turn the camera? I didn't even beep. Man. Craig's an asshole, yo. That's what I look like, man. <laughs> the funny thing is, Spicy, with the shit asshole to it. Spicy, go. go. She's here. She be here this whole entire time, but she's transferred over to let me see this angle. <laughs> <laughs> Spice, you ain't worth a damn. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about the best chain uh, restaurants. Um, you need to brine. You need to brine the ham and marinate it. Brine the ham. What's, I, what's if somebody brine? told me brine, yeah, what's, how do you I brine would, something? Chaz, spicy ain't worth a damn. Said, I had to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to see the angle. Hey. Uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, if somebody told me Brian, mm. and I'm trying to impress a girl, I'll just be like, okay. Uh, I, so I brined it for 12 hours. <laughs> do you brine for hours? How do you brine? Isn't that when you just put something in some dirty water? Isn't that what that is? It's brine. like a seasoned water. Is that a brine? If, 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 look, if your girl was like, hey, before you do that, can you brine that ham? Mm-hmm. You'd be like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Go to your phone. I want to think how to brine. What is a brine? <laughs> this is how stubborn men is. It's a Versus brine. saying, what does that brine. mean? Brine. You said, you said, it's just, what? It's just salt water. So you're soaking it in salt water. Yeah, you just put Dunkin' in water, right? In like mm. a seasoned water. Mm. That's a brine. You just, I don't know, do you poke some holes in it? Yeah. So we can get all through it. It's salt and pepper and sugar seasoning. Oh. Ah. Be so smart. Google's who is Brian. What's up, Mocha God? <laughs> Mocha God up in this thing. Mocha God came to the click. He came through. <laughs> Craig said I'm being a real friend over here. I appreciate you, Craig. It's not dirty water. Yeah. <laughs> this, this angle is not. <laughs> Holds moisture. What's mm. up, Twills? Why'd you slip in here? That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> somebody mentioned Ruth Chris up top. Ruth Chris is a different different class. Yeah, that's 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 but a flex. O- but it's overrated. I put Ruth Chris on the bottom class of the high class. Wow, bottom class of the high class. Was you like Morton's? Uh, Lar- not Laurie's. Laurie's? No, no, no. The other the stinky L1. rose. No, I heard. Have you been there? Mm-hmm. Is it good? No, no. You well, like- I went there for a meeting and uh-huh. I didn't even really eat. I heard it's good. Mm-hmm. If you like. Uh, um, garlic. Mm-hmm. It's all garlic confused, Stinky right? Rose, yeah. Fleming's. Fleming's is the one. Fleming's is fire. Mm-hmm. Fleming's is really good. Uh, not cheap. Uh, I don't know if we did Morton's. We did. What's the other steakhouse we did? Did we do Morton's? We did Ruth's Chris. That was mm-hmm. not great. Um, dang, what's that? Someone name another one. Ruth's Chris, I'm mean, I was disappointed. Yeah, I came on the episode. Yeah, so much fun. I'm glad you came. Yeah, I remember you, bro. Yeah, Morton's is cool. I'm trying to remember Steak 44 is good, too. Oh, never heard of it. Steak mm-hmm. 44. You remember Spaghetti, Spaghetti Factory? Yeah. I've never been there, though. Man, it was I'm dope. not a steak guy, though. Yeah, I'm not a steak. That's why I was going to stay at this conversation. Yeah, I'm not a steak dude. When I go to, like, a steak restaurant, I'd be like, man, how's your how's yeah. your seafood? Yeah, yeah. How's, your, how's everything else? Catch. Right. Catch is good. Um... But I, I definitely have different steaks when I go like, oh, this mm-hmm. is good. But I can't really just yeah. dive in a steak like that. Right. I, I, I've never been a fan of... Because the, the few times I had it, I'm always associating with carne asada. Because mm-hmm. carne asada is essentially very, steak. Very different meat grades, right. though. Right. Uh-huh. But I'm always associating that with steak. So when I'm eating it with like, you know, fries or whatever, or, and I'm like, why is it always sticking to my teeth? I'm always associating that taste with steak, no. so I'm, I'm never you, you, like a, a tomahawk to a uh, to a carne asada. Very different. I know, it, but it's steak. the same meat though. Carne asada is poor steak. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like the bottom loud and wrong. <laughs> carne asada is like the, that's why it's always like yeah, you get the 
eight, six bucks in a burrito. It's the bottom tier of like meat. Well, let's do tiers of meat then. Okay. Let's do tiers. What's top tier meat? See, I don't, I don't know if we're talking about like steak wise. All I know is like when I'm we're talking like, about animals. Oh. Yeah. Like, well then. We talk I'm about a steak. big crab fan. Crab is top tier. Crab is top tier. Crab is better than lobster. You, are we rating meats right now? We rating meats. Okay. Crab is up there. Crab is better than lobster. Better than salmon. Better. Than, it's the best seafood. I think I got. I got crab pretty high. I hope crab. Crab, crab is thing. a flex. Oh, crab. This crab is good. The crabs. Oh shit. Oh, if, if you said, if you said, uh, hey, we got some, uh, uh, some, some, some crab anything mm-hmm. any any kind of like real crab if you just brought me crabs mm-hmm. already cracked i thought you brought me crabs <laughs> she brought me crabs baby she mm-hmm. got me yeah crabs are... if you bring me lobster i go like oh i appreciate it because mm-hmm. lobsters are expensive and they're they're mm-hmm. a, a different level of like class right mm-hmm. but if you bring me a crab i go oh you're trying to really get me to love you because mm-hmm. crab is delicious okay because so crab yeah so i'll go crab me personally yep. i'm gonna go crab I'm gonna go uh, flex. Well, it's probably, to show off. probably gonna be more of a like. I, I'm a big fan of uh, swordfish and mahi mahi. Those are really good fishes. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like you ever like a swordfish steak is fire. You know what I'm saying? You ever have a steak? Yeah, wow. really good. Good stuff. Good stuff right there. Um, I got uh, a. Then I have like like the prongs. Mm. Okay, not just shrimp. You, you all in the water. I'm 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 a big seafood guy. Mm-hmm. I'm a I'm seafood over everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, so prongs are really good. Uh, what's up, big sis Chris? Um, what else is good? Th- then I will probably have to go into the pig world because we talking about bacon. Mm-hmm. And bacon's bacon's that's top tier. That's not a flex though. Bacon's not a flex. As in, you you use bacon as flavor now at this at this point. And bacon, I can eat bacon by itself for mm-hmm. days and never have anything else. Yeah, bacon's wonderful. Um, I want to rank meat. Pause. Well, there's me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> y'all do it. Y'all fancy. Y'all talking about escargot. Escargot is good, man. Listen, lamb. escargot is good. Bison, I've had. Duck. I've had. Oh, lamb chops. I felt so bad. Craig ruined lamb for me. Why? What happened? Because that's when I found out they were baby sheep. And I had no idea that they were baby, baby sheep. Baby sheep, 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 sheep. I had no idea. Lamb is up there. Lamb is top tier as well. Are yeah. hey, we talking about land animals? Yeah. I had an ostrich burger before. Um, I am ignorant. Scallops considered I need, meat. I need yes. more friends. Scallops is a scallops is a meat. I need more dates. <laughs> what haven't you had? Bacon wrap scallops was fire. I think I think I accidentally have a lot of this stuff. Okay. And they were like, my mom told me this was Italian steak. Okay. Turned out to be liver. Oh, I enjoyed off. it. Did you? I enjoyed it. That was gross. Yep. <clears throat> Not a fan. It's, a, it's also uh, it tastes like gizzards. It did not taste like Come gizzards. On, gizzards. Yeah, I think it's gizzards. Have you had gizzards not fried? No. You only have. I didn't. Did you, was your liver fried? Yes. Uh, like a deep fried liver? No, it was like kind of crunchy. Like seared. I don't know these words. <laughs> <laughs> you know, pan seared. No, I don't eat steak like that, man. I know that's associated with steak. I, I I haven't had gizzards in a long time, but they were huh? fried. If I had fried gizzards a long time ago, uh, liver tastes too minerally. <laughs> liver tastes like it used to be healthy. <laughs> the funny thing is, is why are we picking apart these animals like that? Like, hey man, let's try this out. <laughs> hey man, if you're gonna eat, if you're gonna kill an animal, you gotta you gotta use everything, man. That's well, the least you can do. Like like. If you think about it, we have decimated the farm animals. Like you ever had cow heart? <laughs> That's a thing, hey, bro. Yo. And uh, what I, I I don't I don't know how many other cultures do this, but Mexicans that pig snout, that pig ear, the pig brain, wow. uh, cow tongue, lengua. Yeah, they're they're like I mean a cow tongue is a big ass piece of meat. Wow, man. Yeah, <laughs> they're eating it all. Yeah. Everything is good eaten. I remember I was in a, I forgot what store I was into. One of those, you remember, oh shit, I can't remember what it's called. It's like L. You ever see that picture? It's a big ass rooster on like their, uh, that's their like logo. I can't remember what their place is actually called, but they had pig ears in there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I thought it was like elephant ears. Mm-hmm. You know, like how they're, you know, they're right. not really elephant ears. Yeah. These pig ears are really pig ears. They were deep fried pig ears. But you eat it all? 
Yeah, you college. eat it. Yeah, yeah, man. They were like, uh, so I was like, oh, what's like it? Bacon? I mean, I didn't have it because I was like, oh, what is it really? And it was like, pig ears. And I was like, no, I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it. But what's it really? Because he was going by elephant ears. Yeah, I was going by elephant ears. <laughs> I was like, is it deep fried fitters, pancake batter? You heard what I said. I said elephant ears. <laughs> pig ears. Yeah. And I said, y'all really take the ears off of pigs and mm -hmm. deep fry them? I like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, nah, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do Can't do pig snout. I they don't like the fact they call it. Snout. They call it that. Like, call it something else. I don't know what it's called let's, in Spanish. Let's be fancy. It's probably it's called probably called something else in Spanish, but like the fact that we call like it call it bacon. We don't call it like like pigs like oh, skin. Craig put PF Chang's in there. Are you texting that? Yeah. As in like trash? No, as in in that in that cat. Where's PF Chang's in it? PF Chang's is, is solid. If you had to put PF Chang's in that category, so it's, it's, it's up with uh, Cheesecake Factory. P.F. Chang's Chinese is up food. there. Hmm? It's Chinese food, right? Yeah. But it's like high class, expensive. Mm -hmm. It ain't like you're going to the, what you want here? You take this order? Do you want that I, one? I see another one. Three, four, two. That is on the same level as P.F. Chang's. Which one? I see it. It used to be at the Beverly Center. It's on the corner. Um, it's a, 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 it, it was, I can't think what it was. Uh, <laughs> uh, my homeboy right here, he, uh, It still makes me sick to my stomach that he wears that hat. Go what? Bucks. Go, uh, we're, we're Ohio Ohio State fans. Oh. <laughs> he said Muck, Michigan. <laughs> Muck, Michigan. Yeah, you guys are probably, we're going to have a tough year. Yeah, but y'all looking bad this Whew. year, boy. We got no quarterback Woo! this year. It is looking yeah. ugly in here. Um, so, so somebody said, oh, okay, we have, hey, where'd it go? Ain't no meat in the ears. The only Levon, you a fool, bro. Um, my dad raised on a farm in Arizona. Is it Arizona? And still eats pig ears, nose, and tail. <laughs> Yo, somebody brought you Okiko de Cerdo. I that like sounds great. I'll yeah. try that. Right. If would you like some Ocico Arkansas Osico Osico de Cerdo? <coughs> I'd be like, oh, let me try that. Oh, I'll see mm -hmm. And then they brought you bigger. I'm like, pig snout. This is pig snout. Yeah. Where's the, where's the, right. Oh, see, because they said no. What does carne asada mean? Uh, carne asada. Carne is meat. Carne asada. Yeah. I think, I think when you're very specific, roast like saying, meat. Huh? It just means roast meat. Roast meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I, I feel like when you have a fancy title, it sounds more appealing and, and fancy. I mean, if someone's like, you want carne asada? Carne asada. Oh. Yeah. You want to do polio? <laughs> polio is a disease. Are you talking about pollo? Yeah, pollo. You want that pollo? Dion said, you want a little polio? <laughs> you want some polio? Deep fried. Pollo uh, asada. Pollo asada. Uh, yeah, I mean, but I like duck. Mm -hmm. Some people say duck is too greasy, but I'm a, I'm a duck fan. I Can you fuck grease it out? Up. I'm about to eat me a burger after this. A duck burger? Yeah. Um, and like they people no, come stuff in duck it, fat. Why it's good? Well, people go duck is duck is fire. Duck is great. People want to squeeze the grease out. It's the good part. I love butter. Mm -hmm. I seen somebody put a whole stick of butter on the pan, let it you know liquefy, mm -hmm. and they put like six eggs, and that's it. <clears throat> I said, oh, a whole stick. Yeah, and I was that's like, and I was like, and I was like, I, I, I thank you, but I can. I, you know, you inhale, you taste the grease. <laughs> I said, I was like, yo, you gotta drain that grease. They was like, no, 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 we 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 gonna make it. I was like, you you literally have to make an entire dozen of eggs to kind of make that like kind of. That's a lot. Yeah, man. And I was and like, you don't even need a dozen. You of don't. Eggs. You need like a quarter. Yeah. Half at that mouth. Yeah, man. I was pissed. And I was like, I, I I hate that you did. Like what I usually do is I usually use my bacon grease. Right and mm -hmm. drain it out as mm -hmm. much as possible, mm -hmm. and then use that as the lubrication of the pan. <laughs> okay, and it gets the salt taste of it. Now add no more. This salt. is old bacon grease, so you just make bacon oh, every day. And when I make bacon, it it usually sweats off grease. Dion said, "I put a whole stick of butter, and then I put the bacon in <laughs> for one slice." <laughs> yeah, I um. Can I tell you something? I'm gonna be vulnerable, right? Let's get it. All right. Because a lot of people won't talk about their, you know, 
things that happen. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Not happy with this at all. Okay. You live in, I live in a loft. Mm-hmm. And what happened was, okay. I was making a smoothie. Mm-hmm. I had some coconut water at the bottom. Coconut water at the bottom. Coconut water at the bottom. Okay. Added some fruit. Okay. Some spinach. Okay. Added my maca root. Okay. My green. Okay. My uh, flaxseed. Sure. This my, all sounds yeah, great. All the stuff I'm adding in here, right? Mm-hmm. As I'm pouring in the flaxseed, mm-hmm. I see a critter fall into my smoothie. You know what, though? And my, this is protein, baby. <laughs> when I seen it, when I seen it fall in, I said, it was in your flaxseed. Yes. So I don't know how long mm-hmm. has it been in there. Brand new flaxseed. Brand new flaxseed. It's not brand new, clearly. Yeah. Well, as in, I just only had like maybe two other scoops, two other days. It was new to you. Yes. That fly was like. <laughs> he was in there. He was like. came out, yeah. never felt better. <laughs> and, and I, 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 I was so pissed at the entire production of this smoothie. I was like, he must have went to work in all this stuff. Yeah. I was like, I got to throw everything away. I, I could have blended it up and poured it out of the sink, but what I do, my dumb ass was so upset with this. I shook it up like this. Like, you gonna, you gonna hate me. I wish I didn't see you. I was so pissed. I, I, I wish, it, cause you don't know, bugs can get in your cereal hey, look, man. at night. You me, don't know. Let me tell you something like, Talk about it, I'd brother. have blended it up and still drunk it like it never happened. I would have drunk it. I do, I, zzz, 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 extra long, put some more ice in it. Zzz, 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 zzz. Put a little honey in there. Zzz, 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 chill bumps, yo. Zzz, 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 zzz. Like, oh, oh, it's a little tangy. That's what you keep putting more. Nope. Still got to put something else in here. Zzz, zzz, but let me put some more mangoes in here. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Hey, you know what? This ain't bad. Zzz, zzz. Are you being funny Done. or are you really with it? I sure. I'm not about to waste all that. Okay. If my protein powder would have got in there, we drinking it. Dude, he, the flaxseed was the last thing. And I, and I seen it. It's like, I was like, ah! And I was like. You couldn't just pull nigga. it out? No, it went it went in the cracks of my, my spinach. And it went down like. <laughs> so, so in my head, I was like. Oh, oh. So now I'm looking like. What kind of bug was it? Could you tell? It was a roach. Um, it changes things. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to beat around the bush. No, oh, that's it. Was a thing. roach? It was like an ant or something? No, a it small. was a roach. Roach or just now I'm looking like okay, like where has it? We're in a different game now. Yeah, now... <laughs> Ain't no blending up no. Roach. Yes. So I'm looking like has a whole family been here? He's like, hey, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back get the flex seat one more time. I'm gonna come back and feed the family, all right? And he's and then I just caught it. So I thought you just some regular small no, bug, no, silverfish. That's why I said I didn't be vulnerable. I, I mean, I had to tell you. Um, nope, we're talking about a different. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, a yeah. roach. You're like, okay. Well, there's roaches somewhere else. Yeah, here. yeah. And it's also, you know, it happens when you have neighbors, man. Things move around and shift. And You know what's funny? Anybody who has a roach always blames their neighbors. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is what... <laughs> it's pipes! It's Anybody cracks. who has a roach... Must be the neighbor. It must be you! <laughs> you the one with the roach! Maybe one of my neck right here. <laughs> yeah, my neighbors, they... <laughs> no! Ah, right, you're the one with the roach, man. People yeah. have a whole infestation. We got neighbors. You got roaches. Yeah. Yeah, because the neighbors are saying the same thing. Mm-hmm. And our neighbors, man. I definitely called my uh, landlords. Hey, man, I need you to do your do your due diligence mm-hmm. here, man. Mm-hmm. Um, because the place, man, the, the the place, you know, people come in and out, man. Yeah, my, my location. So you're blaming the people? I don't know. Everybody but you. Oh my gosh, dude. Dean, I got food I, left outside. I, I came here. I come in here. Dean's got just a slop of mess up here. Half eaten. I, I came here fruit. to save space. And I asked you, can I talk about it? You said, yeah, let's say space. And, you, and, and, when I, and when I told you what just happened, you just smacked me with my reality. I'm like, yeah, you're a trifling human being, Dion. I didn't say that. I, I kind of feel like I'm sensing that. I mean, I you didn't know? say it, though. 
You know, people have cooking shows here. People mm -hmm. bring bags. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Ch children. Yeah, and you're just inviting them to a roach infestation, oh, which is crazy, bro. Really, dude. I'm starting to look around. This is why your carpet blends in with all these colors. You can't see a roach <laughs> passing that at the bottom. What was that? The roach is like, I'll, I'll blend in. <laughs> just part of the carpet, baby. Part of the carpet. I'm just a, I'm just a I, piece of I'm aesthetic, baby. I, I can't be open and honest with this guy no more. Nope. Somebody said, uh, uh, "Is that bug buzzing or that <laughs> is that the bug buzzing?" <laughs> that was the blender. The <laughs> 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 oh, stop, please, Chaz. I, I will never come back again. Yeah. It's cold outside. They're trying to, people are saying, you know, it's hot outside. The roach is trying to get in. Where well, it's cool. It's cold outside. The roach is trying to get in. <laughs> For people who say I never had roaches, a goddamn lie. They be in, man, they'll, they'll get they'll to find, you. They'll find a way in. I had a place with roaches. Mm -hmm. I, told, I turned the stove on, all them roaches ran out. And then when I moved, <laughs> I mean, when I moved. The funny thing is, you gotta see things like this, like, yeah. So let me tell you something, man. My Johnny. Shit, why am I so hot in here? Ah, go, go, go. <laughs> man, I turned that stove on. They all came from under you. I was like, oh. Guy, nah. guy, went to stomping. Yeah. I said, well, we can't eat in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I did. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I turned it on all of them. Uh, could you have come, could, could have come from the store slash factory if it was a new bag you just opened? Mm -hmm. No, so I, mm -hmm. if the bag was open, um, I had used it two other, two other times. And my dumb butt is one of the ones you like zip down and get like this. You know, you, you. you mm-hmm. Slide your finger to, to yeah, close it. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't already closed. Yeah, that roach yeah. was here. Yeah, smelled the flaxseed. And said, I'm trying to eat healthy. I don't even know if it says the smell, do it? I don't know. I'm trying to yeah. eat healthy. I'm sure to a roach it does. Yeah. She said, so you don't that much, huh, Jeff? I don't cook that much. Uh, I cook. What do you mean though? Uh, I mean, this is not where I live now. There's no roaches there that I know of. <laughs> I know of. <laughs> when I lived, uh, schedule. when I moved from Panorama City, I remember I, I took uh, my, I had my luggage with me, mm -hmm. and then I, 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 t I unzipped my stuff or whatever, I was, like emptied my stuff, and I remember these two roaches ran out. I was like, no, not here, God, God. I went through everything to find any more that escaped. I said, man, they try to come with me, bro. Yeah. yeah, crazy. So there was this uh, video. I think I think B uh, sent it to me. Um, for ten thousand dollars, could mm -hmm. you stay in a room infested with roaches for how long? They said every day you get ten thousand dollars. Okay. It was like a, I would say it was like a ten by ten room. Okay. You can do whatever you want. I mean, you you have like a, it was like a little, a little stool. It was like a kitchen. It was like it was a, a whole room literally infested with roaches. Do I have to be there the whole day? You're in this room. As okay, but I'm saying leave, like, uh huh. Soon, it, soon, okay. You don't get paid no more. Got you, got you, got you. Okay, so like, so I gotta, so as many days I can stay in there. Yep. You had the restroom, mm -hmm. you had, obviously you can eat, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you got, mm -hmm. they'll feed you. Mm -hmm. um, Will they bring me food with no roaches on it? Yeah. They, just have they, to they, fight they, it off? Use, it's like a prison. They just kind of hand you the food mm -hmm. and you're watching it crawling around and all around. You got to keep moving mm -hmm. because, you know, if you stay still, roaches smell. Mm -hmm. You got to pee, poop, mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. toilet all around. Um, AB, can you see him that video? So Thousands of roaches, huh? Okay. Yeah. Well, and every time you move something, you just see them like, ah, oh, they run away. <laughs> um, I don't know if I could do a whole day. Yeah. Because it $10, sounds easy. It sounds easy. It yeah. sounds like, oh, I just, but that's going to get to you. Yeah. You got to keep moving because they will find. It's because it's sleeping. When you're going to, like, that sleep? Yeah. That's when you're going to be. Right, do I get <laughs> I got a suitcase. I mean, I mean, a sleeping bag. Can I like zip it up and keep them out? You know what I mean? I, I got. Forgot, I forgot what the dude had on. Um, oh, this was a real thing. This happened. Yeah, this. That's what I'm saying. It was. It was a, a test to see if you can do it. Yeah. And, and the guy was just like, he was just like looking around, like he's like, hey, everywhere. You can kill them, but they're everywhere. It's like a. It was like a farm. It wasn't that bad. It was a big white room, so you can see them. Yeah. And you know they had cameras everywhere. Um, I'm sure she already sent it to you right now. How long? How long? How many? Could you do it for a day? Uh, no, I'm a I'm a germaphobe. I'm I I don't like crawling things. I don't like uh, instant combustion combustion things that move real fast. Love your podcast. Thank y'all. Keep thank it you, up man. going. Thank you, man. Hey, hey, thank you, man. Appreciate why you, is it? Why picture picture that? Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. 
If you want to come over to YouTube, click the link in my bio and talk to us and with the rest of the chats. Appreciate you, Dow. Um, I don't know. I don't know how long I can do it for. Roaches, man. That's just uh, what's crazy is ants or roaches. Which one would you rather have to deal with? Of course, ants, man. That's roaches. Crazy. Ants, I don't know. People like like ants. Right. People I don't. Like, oh, I, don't I don't. I don't know why roaches got such a bad idea, a bad rap. Roaches and herpes. <laughs> roaches and herpes. Got well, it goes like this, right? It goes, okay, let's let's rank pest, okay? <laughs> Top tier pests. Yes, yeah, sp- spiders. Let's go rats. Oh, oh. Rats is the one oh. that no one's picking. Hold on. Room for the rats. Hold on. Mm-hmm. We go- possums. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, possums and raccoons. <laughs> Is the thing though, possums or raccoons ain't really gonna mess with you though. Like if you had a You're raccoon predator. in your house, <laughs> if you had the choice of possum, raccoon, rat, everybody's gonna say rat. If we're talking about a room full of stuff, mm-hmm. would you rather take the room full of rats or the room full of possums? Possums look disgusting. They are so ugly and they big as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got I, them sharp little. Yeah. I think I think you would have to do like, like, five possums. Five possums. Thirty rats. Like, which one would you choose? Because I'm probably taking the five possums. Yeah. Yeah. Stay in a room by yourself with them. I don't know if you can put possums and rat and raccoons in that category though, because they're not like they're more outside. They don't get in the house a whole a whole lot. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know if I've seen a bunch of possums or raccoons that got inside the house. Outside the house, yeah. you will see them and be like, ooh, right. But rats would get in your house, mice, because yeah. there's mice, yeah, and then there's rats, right, right, yeah, and then like and rats will attack you. They're different tiers, yeah. You know what I mean? So I go like rats that one, and I go like I take the I'm taking the. Uh, Mm-hmm. I'm taking the roaches over the rats. If you had less roaches, I mean less rats, let's say you have a thousand roaches mm-hmm. and you have 30 rats, I'm taking the roaches. No, nigga. No, I'm taking, I'm taking the roaches. That's what I said. I'm taking no. the roaches. You're taking the rats yeah. or you're taking the roaches? No. Yeah, I'm taking the roaches because cause rats are heavy. Yeah. They knock yeah. stuff over. <laughs> <laughs> they will you be like, yo, who's in here? <laughs> and then it's oh, boy. Across, or, across like a wooden tile. Oh <laughs> boy. Like 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 roaches sound like you like a, oh god, just imagine like a thousand roaches. The, the, the noise you hear. Mm. It sound like plastic. Like yeah. little tiny like mm. But rats is they running and stuff. One time what sound was because they're talking to each other. What time you they're, ever they're, heard they're a little rat? Muslims. Sounds like that. They're, they're little Muslims. <laughs> so one time, I ran uh, early in the morning. Uh-huh. You know, I'm downtown, mm-hmm. and there's a it's next to the food art district area where okay. they just kind of having food outside, mm-hmm. like the um, the the market. What's mm-hmm. it called? Mm-hmm. You know, the little food market. Sure. They're selling stuff. So a lot of times when food go bad, they throw their food on the corner mm-hmm. for homeless people. Mm-hmm. Homeless people kind of you know go through it, scurry through it, but they don't eat it all. Right. And when you leave food out there all night, rats typically get it mm-hmm. middle of the night. And I remember I'm running. I got chill once again. I'm running, and just by my sound near them, they all disperse from this big <laughs> pile of food. I said, ah! <laughs> they just. <sighs> Oh boy! They was like, <laughs> I don't know where you get this rat sound from. Try to make several rat noises. Let's rate, let's, let's rate the sound of rats. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Chaz's rat sound of a, of a cluster of rats sound better than <laughs> what? <laughs> sound like Beaker from uh, the Mother Babies. <laughs> No man. Nah, I don't think I've ever heard a pile of rats sound like that. Cause I, I, if I heard a rat, then I'd be like, "What are you trying to say, buddy? <laughs> Let's talk." 
Uh, Dion got a cluster of Mickey Mouse's. <laughs> Chaz Rat sounds is better, friend. Damn. Ants bite. I never heard of roaches biting. Oh, me neither. That's a rodent. I hate roaches because they're way too smart and durable. They are durable. Five possums, and I'm kicking every single one like a kickoff. Damn. <laughs> the rats. But they're still in there. The puffies. What they're the still puffies? in there. <laughs> the rats sound like the putties from my vibrators. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that sound like that? <laughs> and they had, their heads were like random little shapes. They took nothing serious on that show. <laughs> and, and why did they keep going to the same town in Power Rangers? Yeah. They stayed in, it was like Grove. Pleasant. Yeah, well, why did they stay there? Angel Grove, yeah. Just like Gotham, man. Ding, 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 like, ding. Why, why are they... Uh, Rita was on the moon. And right. Literally could have picked any place. Yeah. Angel Grove. Just like... like all I always the, wanted to smash Rita. I thought she was yeah, fine. Yeah, she was beautiful. She yeah. like Nicki Minaj. I want to know what she's looking at. Where's she at right now? Mm-hmm. That woman. That my monster's grow! No! Um, yeah, look at the... See, did, B, did you see the video? Nope. <laughs> um... Yeah. Book of Power Rangers. Yes, she sent it. Uh, that's a rodent. I gotta ask y'all, because I'm on TikTok, and they challenge dudes for $10,000 a day. He got to live with a hundred thousand oh. roaches. And these is big swarms. hundred thousand roaches. Big Louisiana flying roaches, too. And they give him $10,000 a day to live with these roaches. The roaches is everywhere. So he's trying to like build little fortresses to like at least sit down without no roaches. But it's so many roaches. No, I don't know. That looks impossible. How are you going to sleep? Hey, how long could you last with 10,000 so. dollars a day with 100,000 roaches? Because he didn't last a day. They still gave him 10,000, but he didn't last a day. Let's talk about it. That's so, trauma. Hey, you're not. You're not. If I had a half mask suit, what do you think? Half I think it's gonna get in there. Yeah. Yeah, I think they'll find a way in there. People have those bee suits and still get bees inside. They'll still get. Look at this. Look, that fly came right at me now. You talking about me? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Dion's uh, <laughs> flexy? Mayday roaches is a good song. Um, no, that looked terrible. I don't know if I, I don't think I could do that. Yeah. I wonder how many hours did he do? Yeah. Because uh, it looked like a long time. Of course, right. it was sped up, but uh, just the, you know, he was kicking him off his leg. Yeah. Nah, man, I don't think I'd have got that in me. Yeah. They're searching for food. I would need I would need a, a sleeping bag that zipped all the way up and that I could close. I could zip up. Mm-hmm. I would need that. But then you have to get your food on the outside of that sleeping bag. I, I'd probably just not eat for 24 hours. <laughs> I would take a water bottle, a couple water bottles in there with me, mm-hmm. and that's it, man. You got to pee, though. Okay. Like, it's peeing in there. I'm not coming out. Because once I open that zip, once I unzip, yeah, open they the see door. one piece of light. Yeah. Open no. the door, Jazz. Nope. That's the only way I could do it. I don't mm-hmm. know what else I would be able to do. Mm-hmm. Um, I would probably be in there and suffocate. It's hot. Because if you leave a little crevice open, he's going to be like, yeah, hey, what's up, buddy? It's warm in here. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I found an opening over here. Yeah. And then yeah. next thing you know, you're shitting out roaches. Oh, boy. Yeah, so I can't. Uh, I'm itching. I don't have that in me. I'm itching. What animal could you do? What What could you take? Like flies or this, like, I I don't know if that'd be better or not, but it's. I think roaches is the bottom tier. I, I think I can kind of settle for it. Ants is cool. I don't like anything crawling on me. Um, if I had like a whole, like my skin is fine. I'm fine. Things crawling on me if I'm not feeling it on my skin. Ants gonna be the same thing. They're gonna be everywhere. They're just yeah. smaller, but they're gonna be mm-hmm. everywhere. Like, yeah. what's what's better? Nah, man. Ants is a problem. Also, I don't think I could do it with ants either. What did they say? <laughs> well, you said how, how you said hundred thousand roaches. Hundred thousand roaches. Hundred thousand roaches, or or a hundred rats. And you have to choose. <laughs> you have to choose. That's a lot of rats. <laughs> and that That's a lot of room. rats. I guess I take the roaches. Still taking the roaches. Over the rats? A hundred rats? One hundred rats? One hundred. The whole floor is they, one big. They punching. They punching nah, your ankle. That's a... <laughs> Well, honey, they're gonna try to jump on, and they and they're fast, and they'll jump on, and they can jump. They got hops. <laughs> 
Because it was just going to... Ah, 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 ah. They're like little fists. <laughs> They're like this. Yeah, man. They're big, bro. Yeah. No. I sit there... And if one bites me, it's a it's rage. I'm raging war. Yeah. On all these rats. They all got And died. their family, too. You kick one in like, what? Hey, homie. What? Get, get them, boys. Yeah. <laughs> get them, boys. <laughs> what about wasp? Oh. <laughs> With the we're fire. in a different world with wasps. We're yeah. in a different, I'm taking the roaches right. over the wasps. Right, right. The roaches right. ain't stinging. Wasps and bees, that's, that's, they're coming for your head. Right. Wasp. Yeah. Moyo is popping I, in, but I'm going to head back out. Are y'all talking creepy crawlies? Have a good night. Yes. <laughs> All right, Moyo. Um, <clears throat> um, I always find it funny when, when words like wasps. Wasps. <laughs> the little pss. It already sounds poor. We got wasps. You got wasps. Yep, yeah, that little that little because you got to say the S wasps. and then the P, then the S and the E. So it's like wasps. <laughs> or, or rasp. She's got a raspy yeah. voice. Yeah. Or like, it's, it's a lot of these words like this, like desks. Desks. <laughs> Man, y'all open. Your, uh, get to your desks. <laughs> and I always hear it like desks. <laughs> get to your desks. Yeah. Because uh, the desk is sounds stupid. Right. Get to your desks. Get to your desks. Is. <laughs> Desks. Did I tell you how to clear out your desks? <laughs> it's like trying to get somebody's attention. Like your desks. <laughs> you calling for me? No, I said your desks. <laughs> so just put an X in there. Yeah. You dex. Yeah. Text. text. Yep. Another one. Texts. You even get my texts? <laughs> my texts. My texts. Because you can't plural that. My text is. Yeah. My text is. Yeah. You can get my my texts. Is there any words that whoop your ass every time that you can't say? Yeah. Statistics. Statistics. <laughs> Statistics. Yeah. Statistics. Mm -hmm. That's a tough one. Um, there's another one that gets me. Prerequisite. Woo! Some... Prerequisite. Prerequisite. That's a tough some... one. That's yeah. a tough one. I can see that. Mm -hmm. uh, damn, there is. There's another one that gets me. Damn, what is it? I remember uh, that would be kicking my ass. Uh, to my mom, he's called a desk. <laughs> it's your desk. <laughs> you ever, you ever accidentally laugh at your parents saying something? You're like, oh, oh, you think I'm funny? Oh no, oh, that's great. Now I'm gonna joke to you. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Oh, we like to laugh, don't we? Mm -hmm. I just found out from Moyo last week that um, it's not hyena. Huh? I was saying hyena. Hyena. It's it's. Hold on, what is it, y'all? Damn, I'm saying the wrong Talking about the animal? Yeah. It's not a hyena? I think it's hy hyena? Hyena. That's not right. No, I think it's hyena. Hyena. Hold on, what is it, y'all? Hyena? I, we, did, we did last week. Is it hyena? Hy, hy, uh... Hyena? Hyena? Hyena. Chaz is saying it right. Hyena. Hyena. That's what you what, said. What am I saying? Hyena? That sounds right to me. Hyena. 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 I was saying hyena. Is, is it hyena or hyena? Hi henna. You were saying hi henna. Hi henna. Hi henna. Hi henna. Hi henna. Or hi henna. No, I said hi henna. Hi henna. Hi henna. It's a yena. And it's not. And it's it's, it's and it's hi henna. Yeah, hi henna. So you were saying it with me? No, I was saying the right way. <laughs> I don't know what you. You started off saying it the right way. I did. Yeah. Okay, so I, I was correcting myself. Hi henna. <laughs> you already fixed. Yeah. Hi henna. I'm I'm, I'm I'm back. Uh, it's hi henna. Oh, see. I was saying hyena. hyena, and it's hyena. I would say hyena with the Y. Hyena. Hyena. Mm -hmm. Hyena. 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 Yeah. Hyena. 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 That sounds the same to me. Right. Not yours. Yours sounds wrong. <laughs> hyena is. So, hyena. Hyena. <laughs> How you doing, girl? Hyena. Hey. I'm, I'm well. I'm good. I'm in Animal Kingdom. Scavenger for hyena, hyena. Look at all these, look at these experts all of a sudden. Everybody's a goddamn zoologist. <laughs> the funny thing about the hyenas, dude, is it hyena? God, the funny thing about them, that, that, that little noise they make. This is your rat noise. <laughs> Do a hyena noise. Then I got one noise. Then do an elephant.
Hey, hey, Dion, do a pig. <laughs> this is a pig getting his foot stepped on. <laughs> oh. Let's talk, Cordell. Oh, what you talking yeah. about? He said, let's talk. Um, we got uh, official Sexy Spirit TV up in here. What's up, it's official Sexy yeah. Spirit TV? <laughs> That's a long one. Mm-hmm. You sound like the mm-hmm. rats in Wakanda. <laughs> If if Wakanda has a pest control, they're using their money wrong. <laughs> yeah, there's something, there's something going on. <laughs> what if Wakanda was all this advanced technology, but they can get rid of these rats? <laughs> God damn it, another do, rat. Do 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 Wakanda have homeless people? No, everybody's taken care. Of. There's no homelessness. There's no diseases. There's no poor people. How the hell is no diseases? But in the second movie, Chad was Chad did die. He gets sick. Where did he die from? They never said. Yeah. Yeah, they did kind of. I mean, they got it out of the way. He was quick. like, "No, let's go." <coughs> that was strange. <laughs> I've never coughed. You know what it was? I've never coughed before. <coughs> oh, that too. What? What is my body doing? A too. What is happening? What is this? <laughs> did you sleep with that male sergeant? Yeah, I did. Oh. He <laughs> said that male sergeant. <laughs> yes, because now he got that. The hyena. Oh my lord. Did you just give uh, Black <laughs> Panther HIV? <laughs> now he got that Wakanda forever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <'Cause he's gone. laughs> oh. <laughs> it, uh, did you sleep with the. I did. I wore a condom. Uh, my African God accent. Damn. You know there was no condoms in Wakanda. We are Wakanda free. <laughs> Wakanda don't have condoms. We are Wakanda free. <laughs> it's like take the condom off. You sure? There's no diseases here. <laughs> he was some girl. He smashed his shit. He's like, oh, what condom? <laughs> What is your condo? I'm from what condo? <laughs> and he, and they, they come, they turn on and off like the, the suit. Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's like, why is my condom glowing? And it's like, because it got a bunch of diseases. And you, you hit it. <laughs> it's like, now I'm about to transfer the, this STD back to you. Oh my god, dog! That's stupid. Somebody said uh, Goofy is a hyena. Goofy is a dog. They said Goofy was a hyena. Hold on, Craig Wayne's just FaceTime me while Praise we're working. Um, what's up, man? Had to pop through, you know. What's up, dog? What's happening? You don't get your forehead out of there, Come on, man. Hey, say what's up, Craig? What's happening? I, I was telling you, he was doing you wrong with that. <laughs> that I, was just wrong. You know, it's funny too. I was like, oh, that's an extra roll. I never, uh, I never noticed that there. Your roll was rolling. <laughs> hey, Craig ain't got no pants on. That, that shit needed an R and B song. Rolling, 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 rolling. Ooh. Craig, you got pants on, man? This dude, Craig. Why are you worried about my pants? This is Craig laying ass up. You know, I'm Pooh Bear all the way. <laughs> Don't play with me, I'm Pooh Bear. This dude, Craig. Oh, he's really yeah, on his show. stomach. He is on his stomach like this, y'all. I'm Pooh Bear for real. You know what's up. I'm Mr. Pooh. Stop playing with me. The thing is, he is on his elbows and his ass is up, y'all. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Pooh Bear for real. <laughs> Say about PF That's a good point. PF Chains. PF Chains is up there. That's up there with the uh, Cheesecat Factory. That's up, there. That's up there. Get the mic from me a mouth like that. I, I gotta get close to you. What are you talking about? I'm almost gonna go in. Stop. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh boy. Come on, Craig. Where's Dion? Hey, Dion, nasty ass slack. Come on, man. I'm being. Uh, up, I, I got. Lack? I got saved Tuesday, man. Come on, man. Don't do me like that. All right, but I seen you on Monday. What up, nasty slack? <laughs> what up, Craig? <laughs> so. 
so funny. It's, 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 that's, that's Craig that's, randomly. That's Craig Wayne's, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is what Craig does on a random day, anyways. Random, Craig, he'll call me, he'll Facetime me shirtless, and be like, "What you doing?" Like, hey, why? Yeah. He was on his bed, <laughs> on his stomach. I was like, I already know he got no drawers. Like this. Yeah. Talking to us, feet in the background like this. What y'all doing? <laughs> oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Uh, let, me, let me text CT real quick. Are you late, brother? Oh, no, I'm just going to text him real quick. Anywho. We got uh, Spicy Original open here still. B. Get these likes up, man. Get these likes. If you haven't hit the like button, please hit the like button. Mocha God came into the live 100th episode. Thank you, brother. Yeah, uh, you sound. Uh, let's see. Uh, never heard of Goofy being a hyena. Uh, <coughs> to yeah, Jesse. Dog. Oh, oh wow! You gonna go to Tony's live? She said I'm back. Well, we about done anyway. Yeah, we're done with you. I don't know how long we've been on this one. Yeah, we're out of here. Which, Which one? one was Mocha God? Mocha God was light skinned with the locks in mm-hmm. the front. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mocha one God. of the ones who actually came to the front. Yeah, the whole time I sit in the back. All you alcoholics was by the bar, <laughs> living it up. Yeah, Mocha God's a real one. Appreciate you, bro. Mm-hmm. Appreciate you, Dow. Yeah. Now that uh, Craig has done uh, accosting us, man, he just whooped me verbally. We were recording. You were recording. Who's we? What, what you, are you doing? You was in. You was in the the studio with with Tony. <laughs> we were. I'm telling you something right now. Mm-hmm. I cannot wait to make this burger. What kind of burger you got going on? I'm making me a protein burger. Okay. Uh, my daughter is a huge fan of those big slices of lettuce, what they call them. A wedge? I don't know. Yeah, the big slices of wedges. And The long ones. Yeah. Uh-huh. And she bought uh, some burgers that I rarely eat. Mm-hmm. I rarely eat burgers. Okay. And they've been sitting for almost since Thursday. Okay. So I was like, I got to make these burgers. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah. It's Tuesday. Uh, right. <laughs> well, they're not... Are they in the freezer? They've been yeah. in the fridge? Yeah. They've been in the freezer? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I got. I was like, I got to cook them. Mm-hmm. I don't have to cook them, but I was like, they're, just, they're open. Because like she had the ones that was already pre-made, mm-hmm. like the little already you patties. Just stick them in the air fryer. Right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and she got the Dip them in the bacon grease, baby. Yeah. Do you preheat your bacon grease? It's a good idea, though. <laughs> yeah, pre, pre-game. Uh-huh. Um, and then I want to wrap it up with some cheese, cheddar mm-hmm. cheese. Mm-hmm. And the, and the little lettuce wrap, mm-hmm. and some bacon. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Love it. With some fries. Oh, extra crispy. Okay, the fries ain't probably mm-hmm. the best option. You got oh, a really healthy on, man. Damn you got it, a really yo. healthy option right here. That's not a healthy option. Uh, fries. I know it's not healthy, but why are we doing this, yo? Well, why are you asking? Why you are doing you? good. You look great. You look all slim thug in the face. You see it? Yeah. You see the results? Yeah. I appreciate you, bro. But them fries ain't gonna help. Damn it, yo. Let me tell you, man. Talk how. About uh, I was liking the way I was looking before I went to Houston. Houston is a great food city. I yeah. I have Houston is flown high on the list of mm-hmm. food cities. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe we went to this place called the Breakfast Club. Mm-hmm. And I had a I had catfish and grits. I had you know I don't really eat fried foods. I had fried chicken for the first time in a long time. Wow. I shouldn't have because I forgot how amazing fried chicken was. Yeah. Or maybe it was just that one. It was like top tier fried mm-hmm. chicken. I said, oh. Mm-hmm. And then we had like three different waffles. There was like a pecan one. There was mm-hmm. a strawberry one. Mm-hmm. And then it had, what was the other one? I forgot what the other one was. Fire, though. All great. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shantae ordered these pork chops with mm-hmm. fire. Yeah. We had, uh, there, what was it? there was one more other thing that we, oh, the biscuits were crazy. Everything was, that's funny because the biscuit was the worst part and it was fire. Wow. I was like, oh. And you just, treated her. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, yeah. So the clip, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, so, so, so then the club food was actually fire as well. It's Houston Punchline, new club. They had this fried, deep fried, well, it was like lemon pepper chicken. Mm-hmm. And they mixed it with the macaroni and cheese, bro. Love it. <laughs> You know what, brother? Thank you for saying that, bro. Because mm-hmm. I do have corn on the cob, mm-hmm. and I have some asparagus. There you go. So I'm gonna have me. A do you have fries in there too? I'm not gonna hit the fries. Just throw them out. Throw them out. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need them. What you need? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you Why don't you just give them to me, and I'll give them to my daughter? 
they got roaches in them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me. Just get them out your house, man. I'll take them my, out for my you. My daughter <laughs> eat fries. You know, you just lie to yourself. Hey, man, what are you talking about? My, my daughter eats fries. You were just talking about eating these fries. Mm-hmm. I'm, eating fries. <laughs> I'm not eating the fries. I mean, just get them out, man. You don't need them. Why are we doing this? Just throw them out. Hey. Just open that bag okay. we, hey. and dump them out. Don't look did you buy the fries? I did. You shouldn't have even bought them. I bought them for her. She she uh, created her meal. When she comes to my house, I, we go to the grocery store. And that's it. I'm going to hey. take a picture of these fries. Yep. The, the exact spot they're in. Right. I'm going to count each one. Yep. And then when I come back next week. Yep. I promise you I'm going to eat them. Scouts honor, I will not eat these fries. Scouts honor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there are fries to stay there. I have asparagus, I have corn on the cob, and I have uh, Brussels sprouts, which are my top three favorite. Vegetables. So, so what I've been doing with Brussels sprouts is I usually use them in place of roasted potatoes. Okay. So I put some butter on the skillet, uh, cook some bacon, crumble it up, take some uh, um, Brussels sprouts, mm-hmm. fine chop. Right, mm-hmm. put them all in there. Let them all mixturate. Right, let it let, let the let the juices of the the butter <laughs> and bacon mm-hmm. infuse, mm-hmm. and then and then I'll put that in. So like yesterday, I made breakfast burritos with the Brussels sprouts. Is my roasted Brussels sprouts with in the your bacon. burritos? Yeah, I made a breakfast burrito with eggs, um, eggs. Uh, what protein did I use? Chicken. I Sausage. use something else. It was something else, and then uh, and then I mix it, and, you know, and I put my and I put the burrito back on the skillet. You know what I'm saying? A little, get the little, yeah. And then you do a little, yeah. You do a little fork to kind of go. And then it was fire. Mm. Then I do the same with the crumble. If I want to make like a breakfast crumble, I'll I'll make an egg, right? Mm. I'll make a whole egg and take up the entire skillet, mm. right? So I put some butter on there, let the egg cook. I mix the eggs, right? Put a little salt, a little pepper. A little heavy cream, okay, mm. and then you mix it, mix it all big and fluffy. Let it sit, let it cook. So then it'll cook, and it's kind of like a it a, it a Rise. you know, rising up. Yep. Then I put that inside of a bowl, mm-hmm. okay, and then I take my mixture of juices already that I've had. Mm-hmm. Do the same thing with the skillet, bacon, crumble, whatever it is, and I put all that together. Might put some sour cream, depends on how I'm feeling. If you're a sour cream person, you know what I mean. Mm. Um, and then I'll do like a yeah, a crumble out of that using my. Uh, egg as a bowl mm, on the bottom. You know, on, what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? So that's hey, why I just close my eyes and just. But using Brussels sprouts instead of potatoes is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what? This whole time I heard asparagus. Brussels sprouts. I, I Now I heard. Golly, dude. Asparagus I'm sorry. Asparagus don't sound like it'd it be the same. Yeah. That's why I was like, really? Brussels sprouts. Okay. You make the Brussels sprouts, you cook them, they'll cook just like potatoes do till they get all nice and soft, soft. but yet yeah, crispy. And then you add the bacon. And then you no, you put the you let it cook with the bacon. Mm. It's no look. Mm-hmm. You got to get it soft first. You let you, p- you put the butter in first, then you put the bacon in. Mm. Okay. Then you crumble up the bacon, and then you put the Brussels in. Okay. Then you let all that cook together. Okay. You let all that just mesh and marinate and become one. Nigga, I'm about to make that now. <laughs> let it become one. But you got to make sure that your Brussels are chopped fine enough. I'm not joking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Then you just let it. Then you just let it simmer. You let it sit on there. You just let it. That's the same thing I do with potatoes. Wait a second. Mm-hmm. Wait a second. Yeah, go. I'm gonna put that on the burger. It, that's, it'd be fire, awesome. Hold on, man. Hold it'd be on. fire, awesome. Hold on. Mm-hmm. I gotta get off this live. <laughs> I, I taste all that. That's that's great stuff. I'm talking after hours lack. <laughs> it is time for the sexy Dion. My number one weakness is carbs. They are good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So oh so so then and then so after Houston was a a food I was a food junkie. We mm-hmm. went to Hawaii and I continued the food. I had a fire ass yeah. ramen spot. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was a spicy, delicious pork ramen, bro. It was so mm-hmm. crazy. Why are we doing this? I mean, is he had ice cream damn near every day because there was a. <sighs> gelato spot right across the street and i said well when in gelato you know what i mean so we gelatoed a lot we had some sushi i had these oh mac it so they had this macadamia nut um pan sauce like frosting sauce that i put on these pancakes it was like a macadamia nut it was so good ross it's macadamia nut white sauce that i put on these pancakes it was crazy fire and then i had some ube which are like their potatoes and, and i had a sweet ube and then i had the 
Um, it was all good, man. It was all wonderful and delicious. And I did nothing but eat. And then when I came back, I saw my back. I was like, woo! I look fat and round. Like, I was like looking thin to me. But when mm-hmm. I looked in the mirror, I said, Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> yeah your reality is real. I said, oh, I, look at yourself. When you look in the mirror, it's I different said, than when someone's filming you. Yeah. You be like, wait, this is what y'all see? <laughs> So so when I saw that, I said, yeah, that's about right. That's what I, I already saw. It. I said, I do exactly. I already knew it. I was, I looked last week before Houston. I was like, all right, you're slimming down. Yeah. I popped right back up. Yeah. So then I was like, did you do, no, I don't like the Loco Moco. I'm not a big fan of the, the Loco Moco. What's that mean? That's like they're, they have like these hamburger buns, um, hamburger patties and gravy. And it's like, it's like a traditional um, dish, but I'm not a fan. I had some fire ass pokey though. Had some great pokey. We found a spot. We went downtown. We went to Chinatown and got this pokey. Um, Cause I love a Chinatown any place I'm at. And so. Yeah, you can go to China downtown, Chinatown downtown downtown. I have been uh, many a time. Let's get tea down here. Uh, good Chinese food. I forgot the Chinese food place I liked a lot. Mm. Um, it was here. Uh, mm. But my favorite Chinatown so far is San Francisco. I got to do New York. Yeah. Yeah. I like San Francisco. I went there for my birthday. Nice. I love Chinatown. Over there. I did Chinatown in Oakland. Also nice, but not like San Francisco. Mm. Uh, I make a pokey at home. Yeah, pokey's fire. Try Vietnamese. Try Vietnamese what? I tried Vietnamese pho. Mm. Because it was a pho, pho. Excuse me. There was a pho place down there in Chinatown also, but we didn't have time. Hey, man, this food making me horny. <laughs> like, where'd your pants go? I lost them about mm, 15 <laughs> bacons ago. Oh, boy. I have to. You know what? I want to hold you. I want y'all to hold me accountable. I, we're going to end the live. Mm-hmm. We're going to end the cam- the camera. I'm going to take the camera okay. over to the kitchen. You're gonna continue going live. I'm going to con- and, and y'all gonna watch me cook. Let's do it. We gonna, y'all gonna watch your boy throw down a right? brisket for. Oh my god. What's the brisket for? <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all, man. Thank you guys yeah. so much for watching the episode. Like on your chest. No, no, check please. Do you mind if I give them some more? Yes, please. A lot of last we cooking up in this podcast. Type of is high key the live stream. Smoking positive conversations. Kept bleeding to get dark and elbows on Wesley. Sort of pop like Coca Cola and Pepsi. Mr. Tad Rogers, a big credit for blessing. I'm like toast. E and T. I guess we paying for the bills. So give us another check, please. Thank you guys so much for watching the live. If you're here, this is Lactose E and T. If you're watching up there, you're watching. Uh. My my channel, which is now demonetized, <laughs> Chaz Rogers. Uh, I do think that we are going to switch everything over to our own Lacrony like, Chaz YouTube page now. What do you think? Sure, you gotta have a thousand followers though. Well, for it to monetize, but we can still be over there. I think we'll slowly start having people come over. Like we'll post on both. I don't now. even go live. Yeah, you can. Why can't you go live without a thousand? Yeah, you can. You, ask Google. As hey Google. Hey Google. She's she's waiting for you. Oh, I didn't hear it. Come on. Can you go live with under a thousand followers on YouTube? She ain't hear me. Oh. She gives her music. Okay, Google. Can you go live on YouTube under a thousand followers? Some music. Okay, Google, music off. They said in the chat you can. We'll experiment. We'll okay. see. But, uh, yeah, we're going to start moving like Rainy Chats to its own um, channel now. Uh, so if you guys would like to head over there, you can subscribe now. Um, but we'll probably be, yeah, next week we'll be back. Yes, Tone does. I don't, Tone has a lot more than 1,000 followers, though. Yeah, we'll see. All we'll right, see y'all. what happens. All right, y'all. Peace.